Hi, my name is Phil Chambers and I've just completed a Black Belt project six months ago um, and it was a, an educational providers uh, project and uh, the context was that it is a registered training organisation uh, that operates in two states in Australia. Um, the organisation grew from nine offices to 13 offices during the project so there was a lot of complexity and cultural change going on as a, as a backdrop to this project and it was an organization that had no pre-existing culture of improvement apart from a, a, a just do it uh, mentality. Um, the problem was a twofold problem that we had a, a student registrations from the time they started to register to when they were actually able to start their course was taking 40 days. Uh, we're getting large customer complaints about that and also that they're in the registration documents. Um, there were 85.5% of the documents actually had errors in them which were causing massive rework and customer dissatisfaction because of that impacting on other parts of, of their experience with the um, educational service. Um, the, also the project itself <clears throat> took nine months to complete and partly it had that level of complexity because um, we had to extend the project uh, to wait on new government regulations as well which would have invalidated the project unless we knew what those uh, regulations and new contracts were going to be. Um, as far as the project went, uh, the bullet points were it was a, um, a very successful project. Uh, the sponsor and the general manager were all delighted with the outcomes. The outcomes were that we completely eliminated document errors, so from 85.5% of all documents having errors that required a lot of rework down to zero by error proofing the documents and reworking the process and the um, cycle time from the start of registration to when students were able to begin their course was reduced from 40 days down to 13 and a half days for the cycle time for course startup and of course um, huge financial savings for the organization a huge customer satisfaction increase with regards to that part of the uh, their experience with our company the key success factors for me in this obviously was the um, the training provided uh, the materials that came with the training by the Lean Six Sigma and Business Excellence Institute were fabulous a very practitioner focused um, and so they're very grounded in um, industry best practice but it was very easy to go back and navigate those plus the other resources that we were uh, given as a part of the course so from foundations to green belt to black belt uh, was a, a very um, synchronous process there was nothing out of place there for me as as that was going and the coaching feedback was spot on um, I was able to get high level very constructive very intuitive an accurate feedback by the coaches at the Lean Six Sigma Business Institute Excellence that really improved uh, my, my thinking on the project and improved the way I was able to construct my uh, team leadership and what I got out of my team and what I was working with them. So all thanks to the team uh, who helped with this one. I'm much more equipped now to be able to take these processes um, into various workplaces and not just educational workplaces and be able to confidently um, run successful projects that can get embedded into the organizational culture. So blending the change, um, the change management and the improvement all together rather than this isolated lockstep approach. It certainly proved to me this stuff is not a fad but a real learning intuitive uh, set of principles that lead to processes and practice that an improvement team can deliver for an organization if the organization um, is flexible and wants to take you know learning and improvement on board if they really want to improve they really you know they really need this stuff